Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place. Slay the Spire. Fake dailies, real dailies. Ooh, today's daily. We're super early on here. Jagged Little Jill. Great name, great album. Silent Brewmaster Cursed Midas. Those are extremely high quality opportunities for us. We start with four energy. Midas means that we get a very worthwhile shop right about here. We want to fight as many enemies as possible. I'm telling you, we've been a little spotty. Like the denomination that a person from England orders tea in. We've been a spotty. What we want to do is be a little bit better. We performed okay yesterday. That's exactly what we wanted. But there's always room for improvement. I really feel like we've got like a top 100 run just sitting inside of myself waiting to be freed. We do get white beast statues, so we have a potion after every battle. But we'll kill this guy and see what we get. Was the potion is fear? Absolutely. Fear, one of my favorite potions in the game. Great, good, good. Leg sweep. Saki Atumi. I'm ready to go. Feeling punchy today. I think you take, you know what? Let's do it that way. Save the strength potion. It's better if you use that in conjunction with the fear potion. One thing's for certain though. We do as soon as possible need to add some kind of better attack into the deck because our best attack right now is strike. You probably don't need me to tell you that's relatively terrible. Two vulnerability potions means we can actually use one prior to an elite, if possible. Or we could use one on each elite, but we're getting so many, we don't really need to, you know, worry about it that much. Uh, I'll use one right here, just to expedite the whole process. Entropic Brew is fantastic. I think you gotta go Dagger Spray. We need some kind of... It doesn't have to be crowd control. We need something that can kill enemies, is pretty much what it comes down to. Now, elite... He's close enough. Maybe we use no potions in our next couple of combats. 11 damage. 7 block. Okay. This way we get strength, fear, and then 3 more potions for our elite fight, which is like insanely great. Liquid bronze is not that good. Blur is probably worth taking. We're reshaping the deck in our own image. We're terraforming it right now. Depends what happens next turn. Because you're not attacking... I think we're in a great spot. Frailty does not really matter. Uh, unless it completely does. It's not, it's not even worth trying. There you go. We take no damage, but dude, that was horrible. Just let us have some attacks, please. Sure, I'll accept that as the best attack you could give us. Two enemies with 15 life. Sneko Eye means we're in, uh, you know, dangerous and uncharted territory. Tell you what. You know, I would rather not have to go through it, but it looks like we have no choice but to take 8 damage. Probably shouldn't have popped Sneko Eye in hindsight. That's on me, though. I don't know. You can't really put that blame on anybody else for the decisions that I've made in my life. Being 8 life down is not that big of a deal. I'll tell you one thing, if you ever wanted to see Sneko Eye on this run, congratulations, you played yourself, absolutely. Because there's absolutely no chance I'm going to roll with that now. And now I'm going to pop these immediately. Tools of the trade, eh, who cares. Pop this real quick. Smoke bomb, that's nah, okay. 8 damage. Thirteen damage. It still won't kill you, but I can get around some of this damage like so Actually probably would have been a good time to use the smoke bomb, but I want to get the gold for doing this fight You're doing seven damage so we can actually Dump oh we can only dump one. That's right. So just dump that. That's fine Use this we got our vulnerability potion back Which I'm very happy to see <coughs> Things are kind of going off the rails here, though, wouldn't you say? I think you keep a leg sweep. That's more than enough to get the job done. 
Vulnerability and Smoke Bomb. If we get the opportunity, like we need two attacks, and we got two attacks. We don't have any Alchemize, though. I was going to say we could use an Alchemize and get rid of the Smoke Bomb, but it is what it is. I think this is the first time we maybe take nothing, but I'm willing to take a little bit of a flyer on, uh, on the knee here. Unload. Unload is pretty okay. I'm thinking... Yeah, 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 I can live with this completely. One enemy at 11 HP. We still need to find a way to put up 8 block next turn, but this is pretty solid. We can always go intangible, I guess. E Do we want to go intangible? I mean, how much damage are you doing enough? Survivor would be nice, but we can't draw Survivor. That's right. Well, I'm not going to use Intangible. I'd rather just take one hit. But I really wanted to get two attacks. In particular, like a Dagger Spray, obviously, would have been killer. We didn't even get it on that one. So we'll use this. Eight damage. No big deal. Twelve block. Also no big deal. I don't think you're going to kill the leftmost enemy. On the next turn. I think it's, like, literally impossible. So instead, we'll do it like this. All right, we're going to be completely fine. I mean, the, the thing is, if you started daily 20 minutes after it rolled over, and you see no scores on the leaderboard, that's a great indication that your run is going to be completely fine. That was a bad play, by the way. We should have discarded the defend. It's just a hard habit to break. I think we'll just smash. To use the parlance of the nation's youth. Give me two attacks. If you don't give me two attacks, you're a coward. The cowardice knows no bounds. In terms of relics, I'm trying to think of what we would want here. Anchor. Ancient tea set is okay. I, I actually think that I mostly sort of like it. What do we want for cards, though? Burst doesn't really hit anything. We don't have any kind of poison meta going on. We can't upgrade. Because of uh, Midas. Okay. I still think that we're in a really, really good spot. We're going to have 364 gold for our shop, which is amazing. And I think in general, I would prefer not to... Oh, the start of combat, apply four poison to all enemies. It's so tempting. I don't want to remove pain from the deck. Because I like having the extra strength. I also think Dramatic Entrance is fine. And let's start with a little bit of Poison. I know it's not really like... It's mostly something I'm taking because it's a novelty. Dude. Curse me. But just because it's a novelty doesn't mean it's bad. Look at that. We get another Relic. Oh my god, we're going to be so strong. We have three strength up already. <coughs> Mind you, we've got a thousand curses in our deck. So there is a negative side there. You're not all dead. You're not all dead. I want to kill you, though. There you go. You're all dead. Please, better potion. Oh, it's the same freaking potion 20 times over. I wanted to kill them uh, so that I didn't have to take damage from regret. Fear Potion, also amazing. Uh, I'll get rid of the skill for the Fear Potion. I think it's totally worth it. I think we want All Out Attack, honestly. Singing Bowl allows us to get a ton of damage, but I love All Out Attack just for virtue of the fact that we can... Um... Dude, don't be an idiot. I mean, we already were an idiot, but, like, don't be an idiot any further than that. Stop the idiocy in its tracks. No All Out Attack here, huh? Well, we'll go for broke. It rolls over 13 block, which is the most important thing. All that attack, dagger spray, all that attack. Fantastic. 19 damage. So it won't kill you. We need more damage somehow. This'll do it. Regal pillow. Block potion. Glass knife. Okay. Now, I'm taking a little bit of a deep breath. I feel really good about the way things are going. This guy may hit us, but two block potions is a pretty good start. Oh, and tangibility as well. So don't freak out. Now, unfortunately, it means we won't be using Alchemize. But I still think this is the right play. He's going to do 48 damage. Oh, boo-hoo. 
we'll get intangible. Because of ice cream, this actually didn't bother us that much, now that I think about it. Like, we're still rolling over 10 block, or sorry, 10 energy to our next turn. What do you do with 10 energy? Well, I mean, what do you think we do with 10 energy? We spend it. That's too much. I don't dislike it, I'm just saying. Ice cream and a lot of curses is almost a blessing in disguise. I say almost, because it also does scare me a little bit at least. But being forced to roll over some energy instead of, you know, feeling compelled to play some trash cards. Yeah, maybe there's something to say about that. Uh, we might as well use this then. And then roll over a little block, I guess. Now he's not attacking. Burn, I don't think counts as damage dealt. Like, I don't think it can ruin our perfect. But it's still worth uh, getting out in front of, I suppose. 14 damage. Regen is unnecessary. Still perfect as far as I know. 13 damage. I had to use all three potions, and I'm not happy about that. But it's still so early on that, like, you have to look at that as a pretty positive change. Now, we should be adding cards to the deck at every opportunity. So I'll just add another Alchemize for now. Nah. Yeah, I hate to say it, but I really feel like, you know, maybe Tiny House, but I'll go Runic Pyramid. We've taken Tiny House a lot lately. Runic Pyramid, I have, like, a, an inertia. Like, I dislike it because of the fact that it was bad for a long time. <coughs> Pardon me. Here's a shop further up ahead. We'll go on the two elite path. So far, and I say this every single time, but I, I truly believe it every single time in my own defense. Um, like, I think we have every available chance to possibly do really well on today's run. We're four strength up already. A lot of people won't have taken that path, I think. We definitely should have hit you. But you're dead now. You're doing seven damage. How about instead of doing seven, you just die? We want to keep adding cards because of our curses. So I think that dagger throw is really nice. It's good to play it by itself, but it also can discard a curse out of our hand, which is even better. So let's start with a skill, see what that is. Backflip for free? Sure, why not? Ah, well, it does cost us one, that's true. Um, one HP, I should say. And then we try. Well, it doesn't matter, we got the kill. Disregard, no trying necessary. Um, I think we want Skewer. With Ice Cream, Skewer could be like a, a 100 out of 10 option for us. You're doing 21 damage right off the bat, that's extremely annoying. Die, die, die is great. We should alchemize, if we're going to alchemize, because it could have given us a steroid potion. It's a painful room. But remember, I guess I shouldn't be too worried about it, because when we go to a campfire, we have no choice. We have to rest. So what do I care? Piercing Whale is really nice. It would be nice, I'll admit, to get... Um, To get something that allowed us to do not resting at a campfire. We should have played this right off the bat. But it is what it is. You're doing zero damage times two. Fantastic. Regen would also be nice. Like, even Blood Vial is not great, but it would be something. I'll tell you what. Take both potions. Use an Alchemize. Four plated armor. Sure. You're still going to take 4 damage, but we're healing for 3. 10 damage is a lot easier to deal with. 7 damage is a, a joke to deal with. Speed, okay. Well, we are going to take 0 here, which is very nice. I feel like I've kind of recentered myself on this run. I was adrift. No damage. 2, 3. Now I find myself, like, back... Understanding what makes this run tick, using your potions as much as possible is skewer. It's a skewer kill. Ghost in a jar. I don't know why when I say ghost in a jar, it's like I'm saying... 
something in a language that I don't understand. It's like a news correspondent. Now we're throwing it out to slay the spy or ghost in a jar for some news from the field. It's pretty good. A 55... Actually, it was like a 65 damage turn one. But then followed by a Sneko Eye. So that's great. Neutralize for seven. Ah, uh, that's going to be a yikes for me, dog. Except... A neutral, not neutralize for seven. Neutralize for seven damage for one energy. We'll pop it anyway. 28 damage. Fourteen. Okay, we gotcha. We did take damage from pain, though. Ah, gamblers brew. We're happy with where we're at. I think well-laid plans, we always like playing. We have to rest, so we're feeling good. And now the rest of the floor, where things are likely to get a little bit more dangerous, can begin. I think we'll start here. I'd rather fight the enemies that are tough first. Yo, get out of my face, please. See ya, see ya. We probably do want an intangible turn one. This, if everything goes right, this should be the hardest turn. Works for me. And this is like, if you were watching this and you were like, why is NL confident? There's no need to play this. Why is NL confident that he has a good chance to win this run? This fight is like a really good indication of what was making me tick there. Same situation right here. Like, I'll play Alchemize and then get this out here, I guess, but... We don't need to play anything else. We hold on to everything in our hand, which is scary for curses, but not for that curse, I guess. But for some curses. At least we can add... Oh, definitely. At least we can add a card to our deck when we rest now. I'll still remove, which is bad because of the fact that we're going to overload our deck with curses, but it is what it is. All right, you're going to be trouble. Backstab. Dramatic. This is very good. Uh, I'm just gonna hit you. If you want to hit me for 12 damage, I can't stop you. All that I ask is that you give me or a Calcum. I still feel silly saying it, by the way. I know that's the way it's pronounced, but it doesn't feel right and may never. Ugh. It's still free energy, I guess, but... Every time I say or a Calcum, it's like I'm at the dentist and he's telling me what's wrong with me. You got some or a Calcum on your interior molars. Terror is a huge enabler here. Certainly we want to go to the shop. We chose our path specifically because of the amount of gold it generated for us. So that's insanely huge. We could take him. We don't need to do that much damage. We need to do less than it looks like we need to do. I'll tell you that much. Okay. The thing is, I'd rather you didn't hit me for 10. And we could just leave. But I don't want to leave, because you're going to give me like 100 gold just for the pleasure of doing business here. And 74 HP is still fine. Steroid potion, great for the boss. Riddle with holes, we should have probably taken earlier, because it's amazing with our level of strength. Let's upgrade all strikes and defense. Again, that means we're less likely to see a curse as a result. What do we like? So many good things. Um, we like... Shovel, so we can do something at rest sites. Another dramatic is a lot of damage right off the bat. Toxic Egg, we're adding a lot of cards. And you know what? We can get Waffle and Apotheosis. And that leads to a pre-upgraded Apotheosis, which is just insultingly good. Twenty damage? Excuse me? Like, I mean, look at the way that this went. One is one is dead. One is dead to poison. The other one is also dead. I'm not sure if you noticed this. I think we've created accidentally like the best deck I ever could have asked for. I like Blade Dance. Our strength is high enough that it should be worth it no matter what. So getting that shovel should be clutch. Alchemize for free. Blur with a little bit of upgrade associated with it. Okay, turn one. Eh... You're doing 15 damage, huh? Check this out. 
One, two, three. Now we can play more cards. Now, did it work out? No. We've lost our perfect, but I thought I was being like a little bit of a genius. Clearly, that was incorrect, but still. It was kind of cool while it lasted, I thought. Seven damage, that's cute. No, 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 no. All right, pass turn. I feel like I'm, a, I'm like Scarface right now. Like, I'm leaning back in my chair going, you know, this whole town, yada, 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 you know the quote. I've never seen the movie myself, so it makes it hard to reference it on a regular basis, but he does mention the entire town being one big something waiting to be something. And that's how I feel about this run, is that this dude, he's in for a world of hurt right now. Which is not what you should do in that tender, loving situation, by the way. But I'm starting to think that Scarface might not be, like, the number one choice of a role model for you. If you have someone in your life that idolizes Scarface, run! Okay, adrenaline. That's big. You can no longer smith. That's free energy. I'm doing the Tim Heidecker. It's free real estate. Now, you hate when we play, or you love when we play powers, which is great, because I'm not playing any freaking powers. We can go to two, but no shop. But, question marks could be shops. So we can have a chance to make that work. We're going for score right now, and of course we're going for score. Because this run is just excellent as is. Come on. You're going to do me dirty like this? You're going to force me to take 20 damage? Well, actually not 20, but... 9 damage, which is actually 10 because of regret? I see how it is. Uh, I actually don't care about regen, because we're going to be healing so much. We probably should add more blocks. Wait a minute, why am I adding well-laid plans to this deck? It's highly unnecessary, right? Because, well, it, it, like we already keep every card in our hand anyway, if we want to. Yeah, we should not be continuing to pick this up. Either way, this is a very easy one right now. What do we want to make upgraded? Glass knife, if it goes around, is worth it. Riddle with holes, not really worth it. Backflip, not really worth it. Leg sweep, maybe worth it. Three week, 15 block, is a pretty good return on investment. Take my well laid plans. I'd actually like to see it go. We should go this path, because this path has another question mark. And question marks, again, could be shops. Six damage. Here's what we do. Hold this backstab. We gotta start playing with Runic Dodecahedron in mind. I've been playing on, like, autopilot a little bit. We don't need to play on autopilot. Store it right here. What we need to do, especially on a guy like this, is store those high damage cards for a situation in which they're more prudent to use. Like, you're doing 22 damage? I'm not going to play this, obviously. Because this is going to take 45 damage off. It's unnecessary. You're doing 1 damage? Now we're kind of talking. Throw that out there. Start acting like you've been there before is all I'm trying to say. So this is 50 damage. So now you're going to do... 10 damage, which is beautiful. Give me some energy for next turn. Get regret out of my face. We probably should have discarded it. We didn't have any option to discard it. Now you're doing 70 damage. I gotta think about that one. It discarded the card that was gonna kill us. Thank you so much. Losing normality there was insanely valuable. You've made a great selection, good sir. We'll just do it like this. I don't know. The, the block potions are not that bad. That could have been way worse. Weak potion is pretty solid as well. I'll tell you what. I'll meet you in the middle. Okay. Dig yourself, Lazarus. Sundial is just okay. This guy. We're looking for a 10 out of 10 turn one, and we do not have it. 12 damage. Beautiful situation. 
And now, was that a Nick Cave reference? You know it. I only know two Nicks. Nick Cave, Nick Cage. As far as I'm concerned, that's all I need to know. I just want to draw. I want to draw! That's a Twisted Sister reference. I only know two Twisteds. Twisted Sister, Twisted System. That's right. The game from Fusion Frenzy for the original Xbox 360 Entertainment System. It was for the Xbox, not the Xbox 360. Unceasing Top is not going to be very good for us without having some means to play Curses. Turnip, you can't become frail. I mean, you gotta like it. I guess I will start with a... We, we probably should have skipped Bottle Tornado, to be fair, but... Sure. Well, this is... Extremely bad. But, of course, I'm gonna go for it. Because one thing you need to know about me is I don't know what's good for me. We're gonna heal probably before the boss fight anyway. Eh, give me another riddle with tolls. Right now, everything seems to be going just hunky-dory, just fine. I think we'll take energy. We'll take artifact. Weakness potion. Oh, my God. Our turn one is our real weakness right now. Like, sure. Oh, that's all right, because we get to store it anyway. It's actually not that big of a deal to make that mistake. I wish I hadn't, but still fine. So now we can do this. Give me shuriken. If you don't give me shuriken, you're a coward. And, you know, honestly, you've proven yourself shouldn't have played that. Shouldn't have played that. You've proven yourself a coward accordingly so far. Dagger throw was a must play. Get rid of normality. Neutralize him. Nine damage. Throw this bad boy out there. Riddle him with holes. Okay. Adrenaline's still doing good work. I'll strike you. I'll all out attack. Nine damage, huh? Two turns of weakness. Who cares? Fair trade, I guess. Um, might as well, for now. And you know what? I'm using the energy potion. Because we get to keep the energy regardless. So this is a way for us to get the combo going. Hopefully we draw no curses. That was a huge get. Already it's paid for itself. It did erode all of our energy to do it, but we got a lot of damage out there and a lot of pace. So I respect it. Bottled Flame. What attack do we want in our hand? I mean, Dagger Spray is a potential for some good... You gotta go Riddle with Holes, though. With all of our strength, you gotta consider that. Okay, Shop. Our whole hand is sorted for us, by the way, in case you were wondering what's going on with that. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying slowly. Don't forget about unceasing top. That's a big play, dude. You're doing fine, but like... You might as well take advantage of the fact that unceasing top is there. Just chilling. You're all dead anyway. What do I care? Why would you use that as an opportunity to attack the Lord of Thorns? That was dumb. Tell you what. Give me some max HP. I will fight you for a rare relic. I'm very salty that you were not a shop. I wanted you to be a shop for what I consider to be probably obvious reasons. Easy money regardless. This is like a... Yeah, it's a half hour long run. Little on the easy side. No question about it. We get back up to 123 HP. Not quite 128, but 123. 50 card deck. What do you do now? Turn 1 is actually no longer horrible. But we are going to take damage. You're dead before you can attack. Well, we're probably going to take damage. Let's be realistic. And we're possibly going to take damage. We're not going to take damage. That's amazing. You are a god. Thank you so much, Unceasing Top, for saving the day and possibly giving me the chance at a top-tier score. Although, 
I need to find some way, unless I could... No, I won't kill you. I need to find some way to get some more block, and we're not going to get it. Here's what I'm thinking. We do this. Why this way? We need adrenaline. Did not get it. It's all right. Bullet time is going to do amazing work for us on our next turn. Just make sure you get your draws out of the way first. Might as well. It's free. Why not? It's going to go down as an easy win, but I'll admit, I think my hubris got the better of me from a score standpoint. You are dead. I really did think I would have a chance at uh, being up near the top. Life goes on. We got to find a way to get rid of this. How do you do it? Draw two would be a start. Eh. 41 damage. You could play two defense. Or you could try to hit him pretty hard. I think you hit him. You gotta make space in your hand anyway. So we're about to take a pretty nasty hit. 33 more damage coming in. Uh, excuse me, could you get out of here please? At least we can do whatever we want this turn. Okay, okay. So hit him. Oh, you get Apotheosis out there. We have Normality in hand. Excuse me. We, we desperately need to get rid of Normality. So we're going to live. Holy crap. No, 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 no. Thank you. Alrighty. So things were very, very frightening momentarily there. I'll play it. I don't care. We made it out of what appeared to be a very scary situation. And now we want to ensure, dude, save dagger throw just in case. I actually think you sort of have to... Oh my god. We haven't played Blur, right? No, we haven't played Blur. This hand! All of our curses are coming back to haunt us. I'm starting to think it was not the wisest idea under the sun for us to have taken every single curse in the game and also Runic Pyramid. Please do not draw normality. I'm begging you. No normality, please. No normality. Okay, 17 damage times 16. Whoo! Many people are going to think that we deserve to die there, and you're probably right. Dude, 11 18, though. That's not a bad score. We got one perfect. Could have been better. I think we're probably top 250. Yeah, those are high scores. NL's poo-poo. That's just insulting. Glail, get out of here. I don't respect you. We're 30th right now. But that's going to change. It's only been going for like less than an hour. I just want to see somebody else that I can make fun of. You know, crap rolls downhill. You ever hear that expression? Where's Bear Taffy? DJ Cheesy Finger? NL's misplace. Cats and snacks. Come on, someone. Lion sea turtles? I don't think so. I'm just one name I can make fun of. Hey, anyway, apparently that's all the people that have done the daily today. So we're in like the top, I don't know, one eighth more or less. Top 12%. Not amazing, but I'm not going to cry about it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It's a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. <coughs> For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.